Hi everyone, welcome to these cabbies and vintage toys. Today's video we're gonna um we're gonna bring it way back. We're gonna talk about the Coleco kids. Coleco was the very first company to mass produce the cabbage stretch kids. So um one of my favorites, one of most collectors' favorites are the Colecos because that's where it all came from. That's where it all started. So stick around so I can show you all of these amazing kids that I have that were produced by Coleco. <music> Welcome back. Okay, so um, Coleco started producing the Mass Market Kids in 1983. And they produced them all the way up until 1989 when Hasbro uh, took over. Um, they passed the torch to Hasbro in 1989. And I have a, I'll have another video on that um, called The Transitional Period. If you guys are interested in finding out about, you know, when Coleco turned the rights over to Hasbro, you can check that one out. But, um, so these two here are um, from the early years of Coleco. This is a wheat, number two wheat poodle girl. So the very first head molds um, that were made for the, the mass market kids were uh, head molds one through four. She's a head mold two, and he, this little guy here, is a head mold one. He is also an early um, Coleco kid. He is a first year, and I know that because he is a fuzzy kid. So he is um, what they call a brown hair, blue eyed, number one fuzzy boy. And for those of you that don't already know this, um, the way that you can find out the head molds is by looking at the back of their neck. There'll be a number there underneath where it says, you know, Coleco and where they were made and stuff. But anyway, so he is, um, he is a first year fuzzy. and. I'm not 100% sure about um, the whole fuzzy thing, but I've been told from a lot of collectors who really seem to know what they're talking about um, that Coleco, not Jesmar, so don't get it confused with the Jesmar fuzzy kids, but the Coleco kids, um, were on, they only produced fuzzy Coleco kids the first year, which was 1983. So. Um, you know, and I do have other kids with fuzzy hair that were um, 84s and 85s, but they are not authentic fuzzies. They were actually fuzzed out. There's a way that you can do that. They're, they're called custom fuzzies. But anyway, so these are my little early kids, and they're very special, very, very special. They're one of the very first ones to come on the scene. <laughs> the OGs. These are the OGs of Cabbage Patch Kids. But they're so cute. I love them. These guys are really, really awesome kids. They're still in amazing condition. So I have these two here um, were made, you know, um, I believe he's like an 85 and she's an 86. So these were a little later on in the Coleco years, but he's, he's a number one. He's one of the original head molds, but he's not an 83. And um, and this little girl hiding her eyes over here playing peekaboo. <laughs> She's a number nine, one of my favorite head molds. I love the number nine. They call it the monkey face, which is so cute. So these were um, some of the regular edition kids, but they were um, they were a little later in the 80s. This is when they came out. These little kitties, look at them preemies. I love preemies. Um, I have six preemies, one girl, the others are boys, but I wanted to show these guys because I love their outfits. These outfits are so cute. I have it in yellow, blue, and green. Um, so this little guy here is a number four, the passy face, and he is a number three in the green. Um, the preemies came out, um, they were the second edition of uh, the Coleco kids. So you had your regular kids and then they came out with Creamy. Um, I believe it was the next year, but don't quote me on that. So, um, the in, I also wanted to tell you that the head molds on um, Creamy's were uh, head mold one, three, and four, I believe. Those were the, yes, those were the three head molds that the Creamy's had. Creamy's are still very popular. We love them. Hello. This is my one and only 
set of Coleco Twins, a boy and a girl. They're number eight head molds, wheat, wheat loop boy, and a wheat um, poodle girl, both with green eyes. Very, very cute. So um, the twins were very popular in the 80s. Um, they came in a big box together. I don't have their box. Um, I just have them. They came in a big box together and um, you could get a boy and a girl like this. You could get two boys. You could get two girls. Um, they they were they went over pretty well and I know a lot of collectors still really love the twins. I, I had to have a set. Um, eventually I'd like to get one in the box but um, but these guys, I, I photograph them a lot. They're yeah, fun. So Cabbage Patch Twins. This is, oh my gosh, you guys. This is such an amazing set. I'm so proud to have this. Um, I remember as a kid I wanted it and I couldn't have it and now I do. So this is your Cabbage Patch Kid and uh, his show pony. So he looks like a little cowboy. Look at how cute he is. And his, his little show pony is... Look at how sweet the show pony looks with the droopy little eyes and oh my goodness. This set is so amazing. And look at the packaging. This is what you guys already know. I, packaging is big for me. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is the truth. It is. It's, I love packaging. And this is amazing. It looks like a little barn. Look at it. This is just everything and if you look at the back you can see the window right there there's an actual cut out window and on the side you see the little girl riding her pony and um, I don't know how well you can see that but not only does um, the Cabbage Patch Kid have a birth certificate, but there's also papers in there on the pony as well. And you know, the Cabbage Patch Kid company is has always been so good about that, making sure that everything that um, they produce has papers. So I just love it. I love, love, love this set so much. In the 80s, uh, Coleco also produced the Kusas. And, um, and they also produced this little guy right here, and he is called the Cabbage Patch Kids Pet. Um, these, these I don't think were as popular as the Kusas, um, and even today they're still not, but I love them, they're adorable. A lot of my friends have them, and they're cute, you know, they have a little leash on them. I don't know if you can see that, but comes with a little leash so what I do is I strap I have a few of these and I strap the, the leash around the um, my Cabbage Patch Kids hand so that they can take them for a walk because that's what they are they're pets and they're so adorable but for some reason they just didn't they just didn't um, go over as well as the Kusas. The Kusas even today um, are they they are just a favorite among collectors. In fact, there's uh, Kusa groups. There's actual Kusa Facebook groups. Um, I belong to one of them, and my friends run it, and, and it's awesome. It's not just Kusas. They have, um, you know, you can show your Kusas, your first games, your pets, any of this kind of stuff. But um, the Kusas kind of run the show. So these are two of my Kusas. I got the eye patch Kusa here, and the, this lovely little girl. Very cute. These two redhead little love bugs are um, from two special editions. So this little girl over here with the big old shoes, she is a circus kid. So she's a, dressed up as a clown. Um, and they had, you know, they had, um, you could get a clown, you can get a ringmaster. Um, they had a lot of varieties. She actually has a little pink hat, a little like top hat that's supposed to go on her head. And I had it with me when I, you know, brought her out for the video and now it disappeared. And just like shoes. Shoes and hats always disappear around here. But, um, so this is my little circus girl. She was actually a gift, um, from my friend Carly. Um, but she's very sweet. I love her, love her, love her. I'll have her forever. She's a very sweet little girl. And, um, her little sister here with the, the number five with the one tooth. Both these guys could be twins, I swear. They're like the same kid. But, um, so this girl here, um, I believe was from uh, the World Traveler um, edition. So they had, you know, um, 
Scotland and Ireland and um, I think they had France. It was really cute. So they came in these boxes that looked like suitcases. I so wish I had one to show you because those boxes were so cute. They look like suitcases and they have passports with them and everything. And of course they're all dressed, you know, um, to the theme of the country that they're from. And very neat. Calico had some amazing ideas. They really, really did. And you know, they're the ones that started this whole thing and they did they did an amazing job. Another great addition that Calico did was a cabbage patch kit all stars. Um, so they were they were dressed as um, well, baseball players and uh, this guy Detroit Tigers so they had um, I don't know if they had all the teams I've never really looked too much into it but I'm assuming they had a lot um, of them but um, he's so cute he's a cute head mold cute guy he's never been out of his box to my knowledge um, and I don't know I some people say it's me, but I just want, when I get them in the box and they're this pristine, I just want them to stay nice like this. And, you know, part of what makes him so great is his packaging. It is his box. Um, it's like, I don't know, I don't feel like he would be complete without it. He's, he's adorable, though. As you can see, I mean, look at the back of it here. They did just an amazing, amazing job. Look at all the different ones you could get. This is so cute. Even the sides. A lot of pendants and the, oh, it's just so cute. And this side over here, little hot dog vendor. Ticket sales. I just love it. These two cuties um, came out, you know, towards the end of the Coleco years. So the, this little guy here um, in the little white bunting outfit, this is a bean butt baby, um, a BBB we call them. I actually have a complete video on the BBBs if you're interested in seeing that. Um, if you know you look into my videos, you'll see it. Um, I have did a whole uh, video on the BBBs and I also did a whole video on these guys over here. This is a toddler kit. Um, so I did a video on the toddlers and the preschoolers as well. I love them. This little redhead guy and uh, toddler in the box is just, oh, he is everything. He is so, so sweet. Again, this is another nice box. They, did, they do a really good job. They did a really amazing job with the packaging, and with the dolls, with, with everything that they did. Kalika was so amazing because they, they thought of everything. Um, you know, they went from the big babies and they actually had accessories too that you could get. I don't happen to have any of them, but uh, strollers for the dolls and then they had play pens and cribs and things like that. Uh, rocking horse, I believe. So many neat things. But then they also decided to do like little tiny babies that kids could play with in play sets and stuff. So they came up with these called the pinups. And um, to this day, collectors really, really adore these. Um, I, I collect them. I actually have four. I'm just showing you these three because I, I didn't bring them all out. But um, I have four and there's six that you can collect. So they're these little tiny dolls and they actually, there's Velcro up against the wall of their little play set and they stick to it and so does their little pillow so um so they're in a little play set setting um but what's so cool about these is you can actually hang them up on your wall and i know collectors that do that and when i get my doll room eventually that's what i'm gonna do but i, I can't totally take over <laughs> even though i can have it yeah. but yeah so these are really neat um you, you know, you can put them on the wall. Um, I have some of the, um, my other one that's displayed with, you know, in my case with my toys and stuff. So they're, they're a lot of fun. So another thing that Coleco did was the Playmates. Um, these are very similar to the pinups that I showed you, um, except they don't come with a play set, but they, they're pretty much the same dolls and they come with little outfits. Um, and over here, they even made, you can see they, they made the Kusa uh, Playmates as well. And the Kusa Playmates are pretty hard to find. Um, 
they're very very popular very sought after um, by collectors and they're really not cheap um, the regular pinups are a little easier to find um, and as you see I have quite a few of these and they're just they're just a lot of fun so what I do with mine is um, I use them for photo ops with my big cabbies so I put them in my cabbies hands and um, take pictures of my cabbies holding them they're like um, they're like my cabbies little babies like they're dolls so it's really cute and um, it, a lot of collectors do that it's just fun the playmates are fun Thank you so much for watching. Um, this I, I really uh, was happy and excited about doing this video for you guys because uh, Coleco is where it all started. You know, they 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 started this whole entire thing. Well, Xavier started the whole thing, but with Coleco's help, um, we you know as collectors we found these amazing dolls. This, um, you know, with this amazing storyline, everything that goes with it. Um, and you know, I have I have them a bit, but there's stuff that I don't have uh, that Coleco created that I wish I had so I could share with you, like corn silk kids, um, the astronaut kids, like stuff like that. A lot of the accessories. Um, there's so so much. So you know, if you're interested in finding out what Coleco made, you know, Google it. Um, go on YouTube. I'm sure there's other videos and stuff that you can find on on these dolls because. Um, as a collector, you know, I'm, I feel proud doing this video for you guys because this, this is where it all started with these guys right here. And, um, and I'm, really, I'm really proud to be a collector and I'm really proud to be able to do this video with you guys. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.